So this is part two to how to write your own Star Wars fan fiction. If you haven't seen part one, click the card right here, go back and then come back to watch part two. Time to engage your reimagination. Reimagine with us by subscribing and clicking that bell button. The Star Wars images and thoughts and story beats are still beating around in your head. And I get it. So now it's time to plan out your entire Star Wars story. Determine your scope. Because Star Wars fan fiction can be so diverse and open-minded, it helps to make some rules up for yourself before you go into writing it. Will your story be an epic movie? Will it be a repeating series? Will it be a short story covering a small corner of the galaxy? While some Star Wars fan fictions can become as long as books, or epic blockbuster movies, most tend to be fairly short. Now there can be a lot of debate between Star Wars fan fiction writers on how long our stories should actually be, but the truth is, is that certain styles and formats lend themselves to different lengths of writing. And ultimately, your length will be decided by how you write, your actual writing process. But as you fit all the pieces together, we recommend that you've determined your scope before you begin your project. Now, regular fanfics have terms like, for example, drabbles, which are stories that are 50 to 100 words long, and they're writing a story in that short a time can be challenging. It's a good place to start if you're interested in Star Wars fanfiction and don't have the time to invest. So whether you're dealing with a 50-word drabble or a several hundred thousand word novel, you must determine the extent of the area and subject matter that your story will be relevant for. What if? What if? What if scenarios? I mean, there are basically three types of fan fiction. There is an original story set in the universe. There is a rewrite of a story to make it better. And then there is a what if this happened in the story that was written for us to change it. One of my favorite what ifs is Thor Skywalker's Dark Vengeance. What if Maul trained Luke? put a card right up above for you to click on if you want to take a gander at of that. Of course, one of the most common what ifs is what if these two people were a couple? And we all know this is called shipping. It's very common and some people think overused. But even if it is, no worries. You write to your audience. And if your audience loves it, that's the way it is. We think that what ifs are a good way to get you thinking on different outcomes and how stories could play out and that will help you think through your own original stories as you go through and ask what ifs. For the Star Wars fan inverse, we ask you to write original stories in the Star Wars universe or rewrites of previously written stories. Come join us in the Star Wars fan inverse. Let's grow together. If you're interested, email me at reimaginedstarwars at gmail.com. Write a crossover. So, crossover fanfiction refers to a genre of fanfic that combines characters from different fictional universes together. Mixing two universes together can lead to endless outcomes. And there tends to be a lot of bad crossover fanfiction, so it's a very precarious path to take. But that is in large part due to the fact that it takes more tact and more practiced skill to harness multiple universes at once. However, they offer a lot of amazing opportunities to a prospective writer. I think a good example for a crossover might be putting the characters from Star Wars with Indiana Jones. But crossover writing is basically a little bit of out of the box writing and it allows you to explore some new ideas in the Star Wars universe. Staying true to the original. So we've already touched on just how many different kinds of fan fiction there can be. And we want to encourage you to explore all the ones that pique your interest. And before you run amok, let us remind you that the best fan fiction tries to create a true-to-form expansion of the original. And, no matter where you go, the strongest fan fictions at least retain the spirit of the source. So if you're writing something for our Star Wars fan inverse, realize that we're trying to stay true-to-form to the original trilogy, and we're trying to maintain the guidelines to a prosperous canon which I'll link in the card above. Using an outline. A proper outline can mean 
all the difference when it comes to writing Star Wars fan fiction. Now the outline's not meant to handcuff you. Remembering fan fiction is supposed to be fun to write, but it does help you know where you want to go with your writing and definitely can help you when you have writer's block and make a more fluid product in the end. And in fact, it helps you know the ending before you get to it and a path on which to get there. Knowing where the dramatic twists and turns are on your path to the end is really important. The beginning. A beginning should set up the setting reasonably well, as well as establish the motivations and stakes of your central characters. Opening conflict. Something will often happen to set the hero on his quest. This often, but is not always, is the doing of the antagonist. The rest of the story will involve the protagonist trying to set things right again. The middle of the story, or the second act. The middle of the story may be seen as the meat of the character's quest. This is where the story's world is fleshed out, characters' relationships are kindled and strengthened, and the stakes are gradually raised. The low point. Before the story's resolution, there's usually a point where the character is at his most dire moment, where everything seems lost. You can probably think of many films that match this trope. The resolution. A climax where the protagonist triumphs. It usually comes short after the hero's lowest point and takes the momentum to the very end. There is occasionally a denouement or a falling action afterwards where it shows the aftermath of the final conflict. Sharpening the plot. With your outline in place, you now have a reference with which you will see how well your plot actually works out. Before you sit down to writing, it's a good idea to browse over the material you already have and see if you can trim or expand anything. What you need to understand is that the best part comes from the editing process. There's a back and forth that, of cutting out and adding in the things that don't match your vision. Keep in mind that a plot is arguably the most important thing in, in your Star Wars fan fiction. Even if your writing skills themselves aren't the sharpest, you can still get a reader's, watcher's, or listener's attention if you're telling a great story. Don't forget, share, subscribe. Like he said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out part three to how to write your own Star Wars fan fiction, or check out some of our fan fiction itself. <laughs>